I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber on YouTube. So let me first thank all my subscribers and viewers for taking keen interest in my videos, always keeping me on heels by asking excellent question. So this is a very good question. Let's go through it. It says, write the complex number z equals to square root of minus 7 minus 24i in polar form. So that's a question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So again, let me thank you for this beautiful question. And uh, let me make an attempt to solve this. And I hope that helps. Now, we have many videos on polar form, but nothing like this. Okay, so let me sketch it first then it becomes slightly more clear to us. So in polar form, we are talking about two things. That is, one is R, which is modulus. Or you can say magnitude. And second is theta, which we say angle. We prefer to make it positive always. Uh, in general, we should write this in radians. Radians, right? However, uh, some of my students haven't learned radians in grade 11. They are still doing with degrees. So we'll go for degrees also. So both are optional. Nothing is wrong with either. When we say polar form, I could write it as r theta. Or I could also write this complex number as r cos theta plus i r sine theta and it is also a practice to actually take r common and write cos theta plus i sine theta. Is it okay? Now the value of r could be always found by square root of x square plus y square and for theta we do tan theta equals to y over x so theta is tan inverse. So with that base, I think we can move forward, correct? So if you want to get into details, you can check some of my videos on converting complex numbers to polar form. We also call it modulus argument form. Okay. Now, the trick part of this question is, do we have a real part here? So let's look into this. Z equals to square root of minus 7 minus 24i. So strictly speaking, the real part is 0. So we should think about it like this. 0 is my real part, right? And I have this uh, complex part. Square root of minus 7 could be, could be written as, I should write this as plus i. Is it okay? Square root 7. Is it okay? Because square root of minus 1 is i, right? minus 24i. So basically what I have here is 0 and uh, if you like you can write this as uh, uh, as uh, I prefer to write minus here because 24 is a bigger number. So 24 minus square root 7. Is, does it make sense to you? Uh, I. Right. So what we see here is that this complex number has real part as 0. So both the parts are actually imaginary parts. So the equation should be seen as 0 minus 24 minus square root 7, right? So that is what it is. So if you want to represent it on the polar plane, this is the real part, let's say x, and this is i y so negative part will be coming on this direction so i could represent this as uh, this vector is it okay so that becomes my vector and uh, it is uh, minus 24 minus square root 7 is it okay so you can always find this value will be slightly lesser than 24 square root of 7 less of course so that becomes your vector so the magnitude for this vector is, you do square of this and square root, you get the same number, right? So the magnitude r is, r is equal to 
magnitude is always taken as positive, right? So it'll be 24 minus square root 7. Do you get it? So that becomes the magnitude for the complex number. And the angle theta is how much? Theta is this angle, correct? 1 pi by 2, 2 pi by 2, 3 pi by 2. So theta is 3 pi by 2. Is that okay? So theta is 3 pi by 2. So once you get r and theta, you could always uh, write this. Is that okay? So, so that is how we can actually write this in complex form. So we can write z as equal to uh, the r value is 24 minus square root 7. This is positive, correct? Times cos of 3 pi by 2 plus i sine 3 pi by 2. Is it okay? So that is how you could actually write the given complex number. I hope it is absolutely clear. So the tricky part here was really to understand that these two are both imaginary parts and the real part is zero, right? Since both are imaginary parts, we have the complex number represented at the angle of 3 pi by 2, moving downwards on the y-axis, which represents imaginary values, correct? And that gives you the answer. I hope that is absolutely clear. I'm Anil Kumar. Feel free to post questions, make your suggestions, and all the best. Thank you.